Hey guys, so after I have asked you guys to go on my video and to ask me some questions for a Q&A video, I'm finally filming it for you guys and as you guys can tell, I have another setup. Um, someone told me that my other setup was boring, which I understand. I'm trying to work with what I have, so I kind of like tried to spruce up this background in my room. I'm not really feeling it. Let me know if you guys like it or not. Um, I can only do so much because I do live with my mom right now, so when I move out, maybe I can do a little bit more. And then the next announcement that I want to make is, actually there's two. One, my hair is straight and I re-dyed it, so my roots are, so I'm a little bit lighter now. If you guys haven't, if you guys couldn't tell, and then the next announcement is, do you guys think I should get a Snapchat so I can start doing Snapchat Q&A videos? If so, put down in the bottom, get a Snapchat, and I will make one so that I can continue to make um, Q&A videos. Also, I'm a really funny person. I love to make people laugh. So for my next Q&A video, don't be scared to ask really funny questions, truth or dare questions, would you rather questions. Like, I enjoy making you guys laugh, so that's my personality, so next time don't be afraid. But if you guys want me to get a Snapchat for Q&A videos, then put down below, get a Snapchat. And then let's just jump into the questions. So my first question is from Ellie SK, and she asks, what do I call my fans slash viewers? I really just call you guys subscribers or subbies, sometimes I say followers, like you know how like on Instagram you guys can follow me. I sometimes just call you guys followers or subbies or subscribers. If you guys want a name, come up with something. I am not very artistic or creative when it comes to names. So if you guys want to call yourself something, then let me know down below. I think that'd be pretty cool to give you guys a name. That is if you guys want names. But right now, I just call you like subscribers or followers. Nothing interesting. So please make something really fun down and below in the comments if you guys want an actual name. Charlie Bell. I think that's how you pronounce it. Charlie Bell. Um, oh my god. I'm feeling like I'm going to butcher people's names. What's your favorite movie to watch? Um, I'm a really big movie head. So I really love to rewatch my favorite movies. So... Titanic is a movie that I love to rewatch over and over and over again. Um, geez, um, Cinderella is a movie. Oh my god, you know what? The remake of Cinderella, uh, the 2015 version, I love that movie, but hands down my favorite movie to watch is Dreamgirls. I love a good musical and I will sing to the whole freaking movie. So if you ever watch a musical with me, be prepared to hear me sing really badly because I just can't help it. I love a good musical, so Dreamgirls is definitely top dog on some of the movies that I could watch. But I'm a really big movie head, so I love to watch movies in general over and over and over again. Elise Longmire said, I love your videos and you're beautiful and I love your smile. Thank you. I really love you guys too. You guys are a really big part of my life now. Like I talk to you guys every day on Instagram. I answer you, you guys questions on my YouTube all the time. So I really do love you, you guys, and you guys really are my friends. So if you guys do want to talk to me some more, do follow me on Instagram. I answer all the questions that I can when you guys like hit me up for advice or anything. And um, Elise asks, or Alice, oh my God, please don't get mad at me. She asked me, will you do more Q&A videos? Yes, if you guys want to see more Q&A videos, I will definitely do more Q&A videos. I just haven't done them ever on my channel because I didn't think I was that interesting or cool or, you know, not too many people like followed me or asked me questions. So now that you guys are, yes, I will do more Q&A videos. If you guys want me to do a Snapchat Q&A so I can show you guys up here because I love giving you guys shout outs for your Instagrams and um, just, you know, having you guys show up on camera so I can see what you guys look like. Please put down below, get a Snapchat if you want me to have a Snapchat for Snapchat Q&A videos. How many times can you say Snapchat? Ugh. Melissa G asks, what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? And to be honest, I one day I was on YouTube probably for like, I think I looked up how to do something and I saw all these really pretty girls making DIYs out of those things. And the one girl that inspired me to actually start YouTube was Andrea's Choice. She was my first subscription. I watched her faithfully. She had curly hair like me. She was teaching me how to deal with my curly hair and how to take care of it. I loved her DIYs. I still love her to this day. So Andrea's Choice was the person who uh, inspired me. She is so beautiful. I wish I had her lips, like, ugh, and her hair. God, I wish I could just take her face and slap it on mine. 
Does anybody else feel that way? I feel that way. Rachel Garcia had a lot of questions, so I'm probably gonna try to do them individually. How old am I? And I am 22. What are your goals in life slash your passions and trying to pursue as a career? I'm in school for um, fashion merchandising. My passion is, I guess really is fashion and my passion is traveling. So I wanted to go to school to be a buyer because for some companies, buyers will buy internationally. So they get sent out all the, to all these different places to buy stuff and bring it back to America. There's my dog. So I went to school to be a buyer and I am in my last year, hopefully I need to graduate. And I really don't know if I still wanna be a buyer, but um, I really do wanna be in the fashion industry. And my goal in life is to be featured in like Seventeen Magazine, Glamour Magazine, or Cosmopolitan. I would really enjoy that. She also asked me what my zodiac sign was and I am a Scorpio, which means I am, I am stubborn, emotional, and I am very generous, but I also, in any argument, I have to have the last word. So it could be the stupidest last word ever, but I still have to get the last word in to make myself feel like I won the argument. So Scorpios all day, every day. Natasha Evans asks, who are your favorite YouTubers? Also, you're so pretty with and without makeup. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you for the, um, for the little compliment. And my favorite YouTubers are, God, I don't even know. Um, I like Crispy. Just because I love her um, her editing and her whole production thing for her videos. I like It's My Ray Ray for how beautiful she is and just how, how energetic all her videos are. I still love Andrea's Choice. I wish she posted more often, but when she does, just the lighting is perfect. The editing, the color when she, after she edits her videos. Her apartment is gorgeous. Um, I really like YouTubers that are really upbeat, but I also love makeup tutorials, so I don't even know. Like, there's so many YouTubers out there that are really big inspiration that I would aspire to be like, but those are just to name a few. Erika Moore asks, what editor do you use? And you guys, in my description box, I always put the music if I can find it, and I also put my editing tools, my camera, my lighting, it's all in that section on every single video. It does not change, and if it does, I would update it, but all my... All of the utensils that I use for editing is down in the description box, no matter what type of video it is. But what I do use to edit, just to say it, since someone since someone asked, is I use Adobe Premiere CC 2015. And if you are a student, you can get it for $15.99 for a year. And then from there, I think it's about $29.99 every month. So it's a subscription-based editing system, which is really nice because in Adobe Premiere, they have photography editing, they have video editing, they have after lights, effects, anything you could learn. You can also learn it on YouTube if you do download that system. I do recommend Adobe, but if you have an Apple, then you might want to use Final Cut, but I don't have an Apple, so I use Adobe Premiere. Catherine Zing asks, what's your top favorite song? Right now, my top favorite songs is Confident by Demi Lovato, Phenomenal by Eminem from South Paul. I, I listen to a lot of music, but I don't really have a top five favorite song just because I don't really get into like the artist and like what they're doing in their lives so if I like the song I guess I'll listen to it but I really don't have a top five just because I'm too picky so let's just keep it at that instead of me trying to like ramble on trying to remember what I like. Julie Byrne asks how was your overall high school experience and what activity sports did you do? <laughs> My overall high school experience I feel like I had a normal high school experience. I feel like people either have a really horrible high school experience or they have a really good one. Me though, I just had a normal one. I went to school, had friends. Um, I went to parties. I shopped with my friends. My dad was really strict growing up, so most of the time I had to sneak out for parties, to be honest. Um, I drank a lot in high school at parties and I really love to dance but I mean I had a normal high school experience I feel like for just a normal person who was kind of social but also did well in academics because my education was really important to me as well so I don't know I wasn't bullied I didn't bully anybody Shane Omlin or Shan Omlin she asks who are your favorite actors slash actresses this is just, this falls right under the what's your top five songs just because I really don't have any favorite people. I'm too picky. People have different genres. They have different ways that they act. So I can never really just pick one person. But I did always 
look up to Angelina Jolie just because when she was younger, she did whatever she wanted, she said whatever she wanted, she wore whatever she wanted, she didn't care what anybody said. But then as she got older, she became an activist, she started donating to orphanages, she adopt five kids, I think. Um, she's a really big inspiration because she's really selfless, but at the same time when she was younger, she was selfish. So she kind of lived her life how she wanted to. But then when she got older, I think she started to realize that there's more to life than just parties and drinking and being a rebel. So I really do look up to her. For guys, I would say Leonardo DiCaprio, just because Titanic. It's a movie. He was like my husband when I was like seven years old. Taya Snap or Snape, she asks, how old are you and what's your favorite animal? I already, I already answered how old I was. I'm 22, getting old, getting up there. And my favorite animal is a gorilla. I love gorillas. They're so big. I just want to give them hugs. They're just so cute and intelligent. They just look so cuddly to like, they just look like the best cuddlers when they're not trying to kill you, in my opinion. So maybe that's why I like gorillas. Kaylin W asked me, what is my biggest pet peeve? Cocky guys, um, guys who know they look good and they just go around, going around playing girls. That's what I hate. I hate guys who know they look good and they think that they can just go around playing girls no matter who gets hurt as long as they are fulfilled with themselves. I hate cocky guys, assholes. I hate really ignorant people. Those are my biggest pet peeves where they just really don't care about anybody but themselves. Rachel Garcia said, you're so pretty and real. And her question is, how many siblings do you have? I have, first of all, thank you for giving me the compliment. I have two siblings, two brothers. I grew up with all boys around me, all boy cousins, um, the ones who were always around me. So I grew up with like a tomboy, but my two brothers are Bryson and Travis. Travis is two or three years older than me and Bryson is ten years, nine to 10 years older than me. So I just, I grew up like a guy. Erin XA Melgarijo, she asked me, I hope I pronounced your name right. She pronounced me, I uh, pronounced. She asked me, what is my ethnicity? And I've answered this so many times with you guys on previous videos who have asked. I am Puerto Rican and black. My dad is Puerto Rican. And as you guys saw in my paranormal video, I'll put a link up right here for you guys to see it. My mom is African American, so. I'm the best of both worlds. A lot of you guys ask me questions on my Instagram as well, so I feel like I'm gonna go through that. I'm not gonna put any names because I'm just going off the top of my head what you guys have asked me. Um, number one is who kept the dog in my relationship with me and my ex-boyfriend. He kept the dog. Um, he had his own apartment. It was just best for the dog to stay in the apartment with him. I know you guys have been telling me that I should go get the dog, but I'm just gonna do what's best for the dog right now, which is keep him with him. No, we don't communicate anymore. It's really best if no communication is between us, which is why he's gonna be keeping the dog and I'm not gonna be getting the dog anytime soon. So, and if I do, that means he's left for a different job in a different state or country. And I will make sure to tell you guys that I received the dog to take care of him if he does leave, but right now, there is no me getting the dog back to stay with me at my mom's house. So that was a that was the most popular question you, a lot of you guys have asked me within the past month. So I wanted to clear that up with you guys. So that is the end of my Q&A. If you guys want me to get the Snapchat for the Snapchat Q&A, then put down below, get a Snapchat. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, then I'll leave my Instagram name here because you guys do ask a lot of questions up there as well. So I will talk to you guys later. Rumble like a crazy rumble, 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 rumble